Hey guys, Robert here from Master Guitar Academy. Today I want to show you a cool triplet lick. One of the reasons why this sounds so cool is because I'm using triplets over this track. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. The cool thing with triplets is you can play almost anything and it's going to sound awesome. Just follow the, the blue scale or the pentatonic. Stuff like that and it just sounds cool automatically. But the lick I'm showing you here is one that I like to play. And it's a fairly simple approach. I'm actually having, I'm showing you sort of two variations on it. The first one, well, first of all, we're playing it in the key of E. It's just a shuffle vamp over E. And then I'm up on um, box one here that we all know. And I'm starting with uh, the minor 7th here on the 15th fret on the B string. So I bend that one, I hit that note, and then I bend it right away. So I bend it the whole step, so I get to the root note E. And then I switch, so I'm, I'm using my ring finger here, and then I'm switching to the index finger. And I'm playing upstroke on the 12th fret on the E string. And then with with the same finger and just rolling it over a little bit like this and hit the note on the B string. And that's it, and just repeat. If you have the problem with the, the G string ringing, you have to think about placing your index finger so that after you do the releasing this B string, my index finger is actually touching the G string now slightly. So it's not going to be a problem with string notes there. It's, it can be a little tricky with this one to play it cleanly anyway, because when you have bends and switching between strings like this, it can be a problem. So just play it slowly first. And use your right hand to mute the top strings as much as possible. And then just get into that groove of playing the triplet. You know, sometimes I get a bit of string noise too, but it's not a big deal. Just adjust your fingers the best you can until you get it sounding clean. And even if you get these two notes sounding at the same time, that's, that can be cool in itself. It's an, an option for you to explore, see which one you like better. Now, the second version of it, I, I went up here and played... There's endless variations you can do with this stuff. So I just played from this note on the B string, which is the fifth interval. I went up to the E string on the 15th fret and back to the 12th fret. So that's the minor third, and here's the root note. So... And so on. You see that the triplets that really make this work. It sounds cool with this, with the, with the triplet approach when you're playing these types of licks. And then you can experiment with just see where your fingers take you. Just follow the scale. This is one that Hendrix often did. You know, just pull off from the minor third down to the root note, and then to the fifth. So if you play that with a triplet feel. That sounds cool too. So there you have it. Simple licks that are repetitive, but they sound cool and they're great to use when you when you're improvising and you're playing, you know, the single note stuff. And then you get bored of that stuff. Yeah. 
You can throw in it almost anywhere. Experiment with, with other strings too. It's a triplet that is the secret, I think, for this kind of stuff. All right, so let's play with the backing track, and I'll just go between some of these different variations that I've shown you, and we'll see how it sounds like. Here we go. One, two, three, four. There you have it, my triplet quick lick. Thanks for watching and check out my website, Master Guitar Academy, where I have lots of lessons in case you're interested in learning more. All right, I'll see you next time.